guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be teaching you all how to blow dry hair now this client has a beautiful thick head of hair but the top of her hair has a looser curl pattern than the back of her hair who else can relate to that now the first step in prepping the hair to blow dry is to apply your daily provisions Kenra leave-in conditioner this is my favorite conditioner hands down when you are heat styling. Now, of course, we've already shampooed and conditioned her. I'll add the link above so you guys can watch that video. But after we have properly shampooed, conditioned, detangled, I am going to apply her leave-in conditioner and I'm going to create smaller sections so that I can have the hair to be more manageable. So depending on how thick the hair is, you may need four sections, six, eight, whatever will fit comfortably in your hand, okay? That's a good way to know if the section is big enough, small enough, whatever. Now, you also need to make sure that the sections that you're working with can fit on your brush. If it is too big to go on your brush, you have to break that section down into smaller subsections. So that's why you see me here taking that bigger section, separating it in two and creating two separate sections. Now, I know you may be asking, why did you twist it like that? Because as I blow dry the hair, her other sections that I have not touched yet, the ones I just clipped away, those sections are going to start drying and you don't want that section to dry tangled together because then you're gonna have to go through combing it through and reapplying water or leave-in and it's just a mess. Don't do that, okay? So for my first section here, I combed through thoroughly with my shampoo comb and I used my fingers to rake through that smaller section so that the air could circulate to her scalp and her root. I am just running my blow dry through that section and then I pick up my Denman brush. This is my favorite brush and my favorite blow dryer. It will be linked below. I'm telling y'all guys, it is worth the investment. The blow dryer is what is doing your work. It has a great amount of heat and a great amount of airflow. That's what forces that hair to be straight, okay? Now you see that I'm using the concentrator on my blow dryer and I am running my blow dryer and brush at the same time to air form that hair straight. Now let's get into this second subsection of the first section. I'm gonna comb through with my shampoo comb, making sure that I have no tangles so I don't have to slow down. Also, this is a great way to make sure that it's blow dried thoroughly so when you go to flat iron, you know it's a good section. Now you see how my fingers rake through and create it for even smaller section? That is what's making sure that the air and the heat is getting through all of her hair, okay? Now I'm blow drying her root, blow drying her scalp, making sure that that's dry before I pick up my Denman brush. Now I place the Denman brush flat on her scalp and I used my thumb to hold the section of hair in the Denman brush. That is the tension that you need to make sure that that hair is good and straight. The straighter you get with the blow dryer, the straighter your silk press will be and the less passes you have to be, have to do, excuse me. You should only have to do one pass with your flat iron or your silk, silk press tool. Now I've sped this up a little bit, but same thing, comb through, rake with my finger, blow dry the scalp and root to get the excess moisture out. Take my dimming brush, create tension. I'm just now realizing while I was filming how filthy my filter is. Y'all clean y'all's filter out on your blow dryer. That is a guaranteed way to blow the motor of your blow dryer. Trust me, I've done it. I'm gonna clean this when we finish. But I am using the tension from the Denman brush to pull the hair and the heat and air from the blow dryer is forcing it to stay straight. 
That's why the blow dry is so important when you are doing heat styles. I am taking my dimming brush again, creating tension and working through these sections. Now, like I said earlier, the thicker the hair, the tighter the curl, the smaller sections that you have to use. Understand that the more sections, the longer it takes, the more you need to charge. These clients, these family members, even if it's you, you guys know the thicker the hair, the more work it's gonna take. You have to charge accordingly. Don't cheat yourself, okay? These clients want quality, give them quality, but make sure that you are charging accordingly, okay? Now here I am just finishing up this blow dry. I am going to comb that section through, rake my hands through, run my blow dryer over the scalp and the roots. Now because this top section has a looser curl pattern, I don't have to use as much tension. I am pulling through with my dimming brush. That section dries much quicker because the curl pattern is looser. But this is how you blow dry guys. You are now ready to flat iron, which we're gonna do next. I've linked that card above. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these tips help. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys, bye guys.